got me my say rally burnouts we're back i um i didn't get an intro before because i was a bit busy i've been flat out but now my pit crew's here give them a spin mum get a look at them look at them go they're all right all, all the foley's are here nearly all the foley's are here <laughs> and uh and seth he's from uh he comes and cleans me shop sometimes but anyway we're here um i was burnt out for a skid um went well i went by myself because no one was around for passengers so anyway went out by myself as you'll see on the gopro footage um yeah, so, but I'll show you what I've done, because this, I've got to think, I've got to think that this, this bit goes first and then the skid, so I'll do some thinking. I'll pop my broken bonnet cable. For anyone that hasn't watched the rest of the series, I'm just going to run through what I've done to this bloody thing since the last time I was out here and it went like a dog. Um, Falcon Ace Performance, twin throttle body bloody plenum, mate. That's a thing of beauty, that. He sorted that for me. He sent me up a twin twin throttle plenum and well actually picked it up off at some of that um, and he did the computer side of stuff all the, all the tune and the uh, and like the the stuff that needs to happen I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a computer guy um, we got a, a seven position ratchet shifter in it for a big guy performance parts give him a look mum I, I bought the one without the cover because it's meant to have a, a console over it but um, I haven't got that far yet anyway um, that I had to put that in because um, yeah, my mum wants to zoom in on Red Point. Our favourite oil suppliers. They also sponsor Mr. Mullet and, and one not all my oils and stuff, so thank you, Red Point. Uh, now you had your plug. Um, we had to put the seven position bloody ratchet shifter in there because it has a Shift Kits Australia shift kit um, to control the gearbox, so she's full manual. No, no bloody Tiptronic, no nothing, it's just fully manual. Uh, which Farrah Bob also sorted that out for me at Falcon A's Performance. Um, what else did I do to this? Ah, oh, put extractors on it and a three inch exhaust. That's just, who cares? That's just, that's, it looks exactly how you think it does. Um, and we've got some 14 inch tyres with 60 PSI on them and a lock diff and no rear brakes. So that's it. Anyway, now you can watch. Now you can watch the clip from my. Um, my by skid I just done that I didn't do on you know anyway let's go not too sure where all my passengers are but might be going by myself yet I don't know <laughs> Sponsor Red Point, uh, oh, sorry, we've got Dion from Red Point in the car here. I don't know if you can see him. 
try the bloody helmet strap. There it goes. And, uh, yeah, first time Dion's been in car. I don't know why he hasn't been missed the mullet yet, but he come in this one. <laughs> Put a crackle tune in this when he tuned it, because he knows I hate him. He's not giving me much room, are they? Nah. Bloody harder to steer that than it is me you. Getting hot. I did that time. But um, yeah, no, she went good. Uh, a bit wild, to put it in, nearly put it into the wall, nearly crashed it. So I'm in Jasmine's way. I nearly crashed it. It's a bit more hard. It's a bit harder to steer than Mr. Mullet. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get out for me, me third and final burnout and, and see what happens now. Who's I don't know who's coming with me. You coming? Yeah. Seth, Seth's coming. Uh, you're coming. Yeah. Uh, right, let's go do it.
think I tapped the tire wall. We'll go have a look. <laughs> Buffer's still on. Oh, I did bend the wheel. That's a brand new wheel come off my trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hit the wall. Oh, I did. There's a scrape. That's right. That's good. I'm happy with that. My, yeah, that my mud guard. I mean, my skirt's still on. My bumper's still on. We've got a bit of cooler down. So there you have it, mate. There's your bloody little cheap A shitbox burnout car done. Um, it's not the last you get to see on this car, I might add before I go any further. Uh, I do want to do some diff gears, I'll show you how to do all that and whatever and that, but yeah, um, still have some more stuff to do to it, but for now, I am over the moon with how this thing went. Um, it went unbelievable. Bit of a handful, is a bit of a handful, I nearly crashed it twice. Um, I did scrape a tyre wall, uh, with the rear, but I was only scratched it. I didn't even scratch it. I put it, it made a line in the dust. It was all over it. But uh, yeah, no, she's bloody, she's a ripper. I'm very happy with it, but there's always room for improvement. So I'm gonna gonna do me diff and yeah, I'll do do a bit on that and whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you, Falcon Eighth Performance, Barra Bob, you're a wizard. He sent me the the bloody computer stuff and all the uh, twin in throttle plenum and stuff that he does so go check him out he's he's uh wherever i tap wherever i'm gonna put this um he'll be wherever we go give him a like on facebook and whatnot um and follow me he's, he's always up to some pretty interesting stuff and thank you to big guy performance parts for helping out this one too he got me the ratchet shifter and stuff and a few other odds and sods so thank you boys i do appreciate it um yeah there is more to come on this so keep your eyes peeled Next episode, I'll probably show you how to do a diff. Um, and I might, I don't know, I want to paint it, but that's, that probably won't even make it on the internet because I don't do that. One thing I will I will say about this though before I go is that it is way different driving this than it is Mr. Mullet. I have solid mounted at the rear end. I don't know if I said that in this video or not. I solid mounted the, uh, the, the uh, suspension travel in the back. It's very bumpy. Um, and I think that's what makes it good for the spins. But, um, it, it is a bit different to drive than the ute, so I'm still learning in it. Um, and, and believe it or not, uh, contrary to, to popular belief, a lot of people have people say that you know that they think I can drive good and whatever. I can't do a burnout for shit. I, I would consider myself not a very good driver at all, and that's why I started doing burnouts. Uh, so yeah, get, the car would probably go better with someone that can actually bloody drive in the driver's seat. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm happy. I didn't crash it, I didn't break it. We're gonna change oil and change the diff and we're gonna send it again. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm bloody, I'm out of here, mate. So yeah, you know, thank you for watching and, and all that stuff and all the, the love and support everyone gives me. I really appreciate it. Goodbye.